Now we are going to talk about how you can change your system name. Like you are, you got married or you want you yourself to be called with some other name and people call you with that name and they try to search with that name. Like simple thing, Robert is called Bob in the US and other places. So you want to make your make the other people's life easier or you want to say, oh, I changed my name. I got married. I changed the surname or something. You can always do it. OK, now you cannot do it if you have success factor that is uh, attached to S4 HANA. Then what happened? EC, EC Employee Central updates it with business partners. So in those cases, you cannot. But in normal cases, you can. So the transaction is simple slash n s is three. You go here. And here you can see the last name, first name. So here you can change. You can put student. And here we can put one, two, three. And here you can put function, telephone number, email address. You cannot change. OK. You can put the company. And another important, very important thing is you can select the start menu. So here you can select the start menu, area menu. You can select which area menu you want to go. OK. So suppose I want to go to suppose uh, ME00. OK. This is my area menu I want to keep. This is also important how you put on to put the format, the decimal notation, and all those things. Very important. Uh, on the parameter side, this is I already have a uh, have a tutorial for this this is very very important to make your life easier and once you do this you just hit save okay once it's done now you might say uh, what's your name so we, we, we need to see your name so i just changed my thing student 011 and here we'll just display okay Press enter. I think it's student 011. Yeah. I click enter. Oops. So I don't have authorization. So, but it got changed. So that we, we can do this. Uh, so you see, we added this. And the default thing we added ME00. Let me show you what it did. So if I go into this session, okay, I created a new session. And you see, the SAP menu shows like this. This is my default not like this the SAP menu is like this I want to see the SAP menu like this so you can select your stuff those so this is very handy so and also you can change the uh, the printer and other stuff that we saw so if you go let's go to SU3 you can still see here we could have changed the printer the default the type of type of uh, format you want, the time zone, and other stuffs. These are very important stuffs, and of course, the parent. So that's it. You cannot do this if you have success factor and price central, uh, because these all these fields are grayed out. So that's it for today. Stay tuned to my channel, and happy SAP learning.